Mr. Hayabusa, El Margoylan, is a racing driver addicted to speed. For Elmar, the only life to live is in the fast lane. If I ever reach the age of 80, I want to be able to say that there was nothing I didn't try, nothing. The high-speed Salzburg ring in Austria, the venue for Elmar Goylan to test for us the brand new Suzuki Hayabusa. For many years, the Hayabusa models have been Elmar's favorite bikes. He owns several, the most powerful with turbo and 400 horsepower. The test machine is looking good. He can't wait to get into the saddle. It feels good too. Elmar is visibly pleased. Back home, back home. Elma is back home. <laughs> and off we go. The international media are equally anxious to see how the new Falcon performs in the testing. Not long to wait, the Salzburg ring is recognized as a high-speed circuit with not too many technical difficulties, but with a four-kilometer long straight, which invites full-throttle riding, the perfect playground for the new superbike. The old and new Hayabusas. The model made its debut seven years ago, and so it was time for a new version. It stays true to the original line, unmistakably a Falcon, with the aerodynamically sloping rear. But the power output has been raised from 175 to 197 horsepower. Elmar Goylan has finished with warm-up. He's in his element. I think that what's special about the Hayabusa is the fact that it has incredible torque and even in sixth gear you can push it from two or three thousand RPM with no trouble. He's just as pleased with the suspension. Okay, the standard suspension of the bike is impeccable. We have curves here taken in sixth gear at 280 or 290 kilometers per hour. No problem, even with just the standard suspension. A noteworthy feature, like the Suzuki GSX-R1000, the Hayabusa has three power output settings to choose from. A gives the full 197 horsepower, B is a median output, while C cuts the performance to about 135 horsepower. Mr. Fastlay, Nelmar Goylan, has no hesitation when making his selection. A for maximum power. Mr. Hayabusa takes a moment to recover. It went sideways. Mm -hmm. But his overall verdict is positive. My compliments to Suzuki. They've made the Hayabusa even better in every way. Torque, peak performance, the bike is great to drive. And it's good to be able to control the power output with the press of a button. An average rider can cut back the power if, for example, it suddenly starts raining. So that's really an active safety bonus. The bike is not hard to control and its light weight makes it very nippy. And here we have curves you can take at 300 now. That's really fun. That's a real kick. Love at first sight, no doubt about it. The test proves that Elmar and the Hayabusa, well, it's a passionate relationship with good future prospects. <laughs>